How's it going everyone? JKXVX here. We're back on Forza Horizon 5 today with some more information. Since my video yesterday which contained as much as we knew about Horizon 5, we know even more now. Customization features, map features, um, you know, new additions, new cars, we're going to touch on them all today. I have a bit of information from the live stream that Player Run Games have just finished and I also have some hidden secrets or hidden features within the trailer that was actually yesterday. I'm going to tell you about everything, absolutely everything new that you want to know about the game. If this video does help you out guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 5 as we get the information just like today. Now let me start very quickly with the map. Now I noticed that lots of people were actually quite disappointed because the trailer made the game seem very off-road focused and they were worried that maybe we wouldn't have a highway, we wouldn't have a drag strip, we wouldn't have any dry roads to drive on. Well, we know a bit more now. Within the map, there's going to be plenty of cities. There's going to be one, in fact, which is almost two cities in one, stacked on top of each other, they said. It's going to be nice and compact, there's going to be twisty turny roads, tunnels underneath in the bottom section. It's going to be a nice big city, so we don't have to worry about there not being any nice large cities. Drag strips. Are we getting drag strips? Yes we are, and we're getting more than one. There's going to be several drag strips scattered around the world by the sounds of it. One drag strip in fact goes through the Horizon Festival, because we know that Horizon Festivals are still a thing as well. Now there is more than one festival as well, there's not just one like there was on Horizon 4, so there'll be festivals scattered around the map, one of which is quite interesting. Let me tell you about this. One of the festivals is going to have a drag strip going through it, as I said, and it's also going to have a racetrack to the size of it. How big this racetrack's going to be and how cool it's going to be, we don't know, but there's going to be a festival, the main festival, have a racetrack beside it which is pretty cool and along with that it's also on an abandoned airstrip so it sounds like an abandoned airstrip might also be something cool to have as well so far all good news but the one thing that i want in particular is a nice big long highway or a motorway are we getting one of them yes we are we are getting the biggest and longest highway that's ever been in a horizon game because the map is the biggest map ever and there's a highway going from corner to corner which presumably makes it the biggest highway we've ever had so we're getting that we don't need to worry so it seems like although the trailer didn't really show any of these that i've just mentioned the map is going to have plenty of features that some people like myself wanted in the game but didn't notice in the trailer now a few other details about the map they're very miscellaneous but details are details there are going to be individual weather conditions scattered around the map so sandstorms, thunders, you know, re heavy rain conditions are going to be scattered around the map. They're not just going to be on the whole map at once. So for example, if you're driving around and it starts raining, if you're quick enough, technically you could drive out of that rainstorm and you could see it in the distance. Or vice versa, if you see a sandstorm over on one part of the map, you could drive towards it. What I'm trying to say is if it's raining on one part of Mexico, it's not raining on the whole map. Individual weather conditions for each little part, which is kind of cool. A few features which will be scattered around, there's going to be a bunch of animals, not just sheep this time. From flamingos to wild dogs, donkeys, goats, um, birds and parrots, plenty of different animals scattered about. It's going to add to the game. We have a tiny bit of information on how the event lab works. As you can see on screen, this is the event lab where you can create your own mini games, you know, down to the fundamentals of the game. Well, we've got a tiny bit of information of how that works. For example, you can set it, so if you hit one of these bowling pins, it gives your team, or it gives you, 5,000 points. Now, you can set this to be a team game, a solo game, a co-op game, whatever you want. You can set the amount of points that you get per object, you know, it just goes to show how in detail this event lab's going to be. That's just a very prime example. Now let's talk a little bit about customization. Now we don't know much more than this, but we do know a little bit more. We already know that there are hundreds of new rims and visual upgrades. We know that there are thousands of performance upgrades. However, it was recently announced that we can now paint brake calipers, something which was promised to be in Horizon 4. It's now going to be in Horizon 5 that you can individually paint the paint calipers of every car, finally. Now we're going to stick on the car customization topic. However, I quickly want to pull up the trailer so I can individually show you parts of the trailer and gameplay 
that shows some new customization that we've not had before. Okay, I've got the trailer pulled up. Let me show you what's been spotted in the trailer as regards to extra customization. The Evo seen on screen has been spotted with a wide body kit on it. Now, I couldn't remember if Horizon 4 had a Evo wide body. I had a look, can't find it. So Forza Horizon 5 has customization for the Evo, a wide body. Now, it's not very easy to see, but the Corvette C8 also seems to have a wide body kit as well. If you look very closely, you can see it seems to be wide arched on the back. Wide arched, yeah, that makes sense. You can't see it very clearly, but it sure does look like it's got a wide body kit on the C8. And you can get them in real life. So yeah, more customization for the C8, a wide body. I don't know if you class this as customization, but this very well could just be a cinematic thing. But at the start of the trailer, as seen right there, the car starts up while it's out in the map. Are we getting a feature where we can now turn off and turn on the engine on Horizon 5? looks like the Mercedes Project One did here. Maybe it's just a cinematic thing. This isn't confirmed. Maybe it will, just like it does here. You never know. Obviously, everybody knows about this now. Convertibles are now in the game as well. You can now put the roof up and down while out and about with the analog stick. Not sure which analog stick, but you click it down and it puts the roof up and down. That's now a thing. As far as customization goes, that's all we know so far. However, there are even more things hidden in this trailer, which tells us a bit more about the game. For example, right here, we can see that the player has just done an objective. And over on the left-hand side here, we can see that he's received 150 stars, but it's some kind of cool system by the looks of it, where you complete objectives and challenges, you get given these stars. What they're gonna be spent on, we don't know. It's probably not money, because 150 is practically nothing, and it's probably not XP, because 150 is practically nothing as well. We'll have to find out, but there's some kind of, you know, points or something you can collect for doing challenges that you get to spend on stuff. Not really sure what, though. Now, to finish this off, just a few random spots and additions to the game that you might not have spotted. Obviously, it's tradition, there is a train in Forza Horizon 5, as you can see right here. There's a big railway that you drive under. Another sneak peek of the points that people have been getting here. But yeah, there's a train. A few new vehicles. The Bronco is seen in a scene here in quite a few other scenes. The electric Porsche is shown in this scene as well. I believe the Jaguar XJR15 is coming to the game as well. I believe this is it right here. And of course, the new Land Rover Defender. Something very random, but when this player comes through this alleyway, it snaps into some kind of drone mode almost instantly. Very cool, very seamless. It seems like drone mode may be having... May be... May be. <laughs> I stuttered a bit there, didn't I? It seems like drone mode just has its own little updates to make it more seamless and faster. So yeah, a bunch more information that we now know about Horizon 5. Maps, cars, customization features, there's loads. And there's going to be more videos on the channel as we find out even more over the coming weeks and months. So make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you're most looking forward to about this game. So far, for me, it's the map. The map's going to be incredible. It's going to be such a different experience. I cannot wait. But yeah, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.